To all my peoples coming up. P.O.D. Baritos. At least I think I'm pronouncing that right. What Baritos is what a uh, chill dude on a couch says, I think. But don't quote me on that either. Anyway. This is the, I believe, you're counting stuff the pocket brown. I think it's their 11th studio album. The first since Circles in 2018. Um, I, despite my thoughts on how this album starts with a feature that is, you, you can tell they're attempting to pull off what they did with the Jamie Josta of Hatebreed as their feature on Eyes, which or at least that's what it seemed like they were trying to do on paper in execution. It says another story and it's kind of sad because it's like such a misuse of Randy Blythe, dude. In comparison. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that drop ain't isn't that. And when I heard that, I was kind of not looking forward to this record very much. Luckily, I feel like the rest of the... And I didn't even hear the other singles... I didn't even know that uh, Tatiana from Ginger was going to be involved on that project, and it, it just was underwhelming even that one. And But yet the lesser-known features that aren't the draw are the ones that actually do something, which is more so on tracks like... Tracks like we... Next to me, like... Uh, this is my life for that for that reason the only other feature left dead right was interesting even though i do get an anything right vibe a little bit from it but because a lot of this does seem like it's trying to be for this band um them attempting to pull off a satellite thing well in fact technically by the time of this record to be the anniversary of their debut record that no one bothers to want to talk about stuff the punk but wouldn't blame you that's definitely like those two records are still probably the worst luckily and that we've shown that they have improved massively with the follow-ups records from that but to me uh i'm gonna just tell you this right now if you're wondering if there was a later air pod like it went from like maybe the last decade or so that's even worth a damn uh i would honestly say the awakening i believe i've said that as much Maybe I, that was during my Facebook days, before I finally released it, started releasing stuff on YouTube. And, um, yeah, some people have issues with I Won't Bow Down or something, but I didn't mind that. I liked I Got That's Riff. I think that's a single as well. I understand if the singles seem underwhelming. Feeling Strange wasn't a bad closer. Some people want to see we are one our struggle, which I get some people are saying it's supposed to be a youth of the nation thing i don't feel like that was the intention of that really and lies we tell ourselves is definitely one of the more interesting ones breaking i think is interesting i think lay me down Rusan, i think has an interesting riff here and there but for the most part um i think you could do better with this but i will at least say despite its flaws uh, I may change my mind depending on how my um, tier list is going to go. Because that's what I'm going to have to do. I wanted to do the Topster thing with rankings, but I think Topster decided to stop doing stuff, which is sad. So just expect like a tier list thing, I guess. Uh, I will say it's definitely in the lower rank. It will, it will probably rank higher than what I thought of Circles, but I don't... This is definitely not like top tier. It's kind of mid or mediocre by them, which is a shame. So the best I can do is give it a a uh, maybe a light thumbs up and maybe a light keep it real at best. Um, I don't expect it to make a year end list, honestly, uh, at all. Um, I expect better from this band, but I have heard worse from this band. I think we all have heard worse from them when they started with Snuff the Punk and Brown. 
Um, so luckily they haven't reached that levels yet. There were some seemingly concerns, I guess, some for some people with when Angel of Serpent Stance and I think maybe Murdered Love, but but y'all heard me champion eyes as an one of their best openers for an album. Um for sure. So yeah. I I wanted to like this album more. I knew from the album cover they were going a darker direction. I kind of heard it a little bit, and I feel like the record isn't as bad. Some people say there's a little too much of a polish to it, but I think it works fine. I like it a little bit more. I, it seems like they have a little bit, like, compared to Circles, they do have a little more uh, aggro-ness to their, what they're playing, probably because since this is like a post-pandemic thing and, you know, they didn't have that, you know, visceral, viscerality to them that they kind of did throughout most of Awake before they kind of changed their tune a bit and then Circles I guess was one of their lighter records uh, and it just lacked something that you know Awakening had sadly the, the, this is probably a post Awakening situation where they just don't have it in them anymore and they're kind of coasting on Legacy now uh, which is a shame but you know I think this is at least better than Circles but that's about the highest compliment I can give it when I think even like pre, they've done worse pre-elemental fundamental elements, but than this, but I would, would definitely say that anything post-Awakening has so far not been as worthwhile. And I should, speaking of the Awakening, should be an album you should check out. It's actually, a, for surprisingly, for a Christian album style concept record that actually surprised me. In fact, they had the better record than Peller that year. And their fellow tour mates, Peller that year. Uh, so it's just kind of, of course, because that was a crowdfunded thing and you fucking could tell in the production. And I wished it had, that album had their last major label record or big label records production on that one. That would have helped a lot for that. but. Regardless, P.O.D., Veritas, it's fine. Um, gave me reason to want to revisit their stuff and see if I still enjoy it. I still do enjoy Fundamental Elements and, and Satellite for what they are, uh, for sure. Um, Testify's decent. The stuff between Testify and Awakening's decent, even if there are some moments that could almost come close to that pre-cringe pre fundamental elements cringe but not enough to be unentertaining like it's not to the level of something like abortion is murder uh so yay on that yay on that i guess but, but other than that what did you guys think of this pod record if you even gave a damn you know or like are you one of those people that are like oh they're still around and stuff you know um they've been they just haven't been putting out as much records and or do you care do you not care do you want to care enough to want to like at least do what i did and go back and check out and see if some of their older records hold up in us to a certain degree uh or at least still have a certain sense of quality to them uh leave at some points um Whatever it is, leave a comment below. Let me know. If you like this video, rock that like button. Trust you from us. And as always, guys, keep it random, keep it real, keep it rocking. I'll see you in the next video. Whatever that may be, I'm hoping to finally talk about uh, last month April's stuff. And at some point, I'd like to, since summer movie season's starting, there's some movies I want to see. I wanted to see Fall Guy, but I got caught up in some IRL situations. Some friends needed help moving. Uh, that took a lot of all day, so I was too tired to even want to see Fall Guy. So. Maybe I'll see it. Maybe I'll just wait and see the Planet of the Apes movie since I've seen the other movies, so who knows? Of course, it's probably Mother's Day weekend when that is, so maybe that may not work, but who knows? Who knows? I gotta figure that out, too. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> but anyways. Um, like the like button, thrust your must, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell to get all notifications. Uh, if you like this, try to spread this around, I guess, because, you know, YouTube's kind of stupid now with stuff, so I'm not really getting anywhere, so at this point, it's just kind of like a hobby slash 
music journal for me at this point, which is fine for me. I like the, talking about some of these things. and I'd like to talk about P.O.D. I just wanted to like this album more. But other than that, keep it random, keep it real, keep it... Keep it random, keep it real, keep it rocking. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, y'all.